Hey guys, it's Bob White with Havoc Shooting. Today I'm going to talk about doing one-handed reloads. And I'm going to use uh, my duty weapon here. It's got the empty mag in it. Alright, so when doing one-handed reload, what's some of the ways that you can think of that you've come up with or that you've been taught? What I learned in the Marine Corps I did for years was, you know, you fired, bang, bang, bang. You've been injured, whichever hand. You hit the mag release, drop the mag out, and then you would take the weapon, flip it up like this, and pin it between your knees, reach over to your mag pouch, Put spare mag, insert it, and of course in those days we used a Beretta. So the Beretta has a larger slide stop, right? So engage the slide stop. Police departments teach to use the rear sight. I also like using the ejection port because you get a larger place to hook onto, right? So you can wreck it with the ejection port. And that's about the standard way we're taught how to do it. Uh, I have a different way that I like using some, and I'll show it to you real quick. Uh, and this involves, you know, pinning the weapon on the ground. You know, if you're injured, you may not be standing, you may not be up on the ground. I wouldn't recommend staying in the open and trying to do a mag change, you know, while you've been injured. You know, this course is just academic showing how to do it. Uh, I have another way that I like. I teach it in a critical manipulations class of mine. And what do we do is you're firing, the weapon runs dry, right? So here I'll step back a little bit so you can see. You fire, bang, bang, bang. Seek some cover, you got a second, all right? Mag out, mag hits the deck. Now what are we gonna do with the weapon? Again, some people like to put it in the holster. Some people like to stuck it behind their arm. One way we teach, and again, it's like everything else, you don't have to do it, but it's a useful tool to have. Take the weapon, we'll pin it on the ground. All right, so the weapon's on the deck. We'll take my foot, I'm gonna pin it. I'm able to keep my eyes up and look at what's going on around me. Mag in, the mag well, insert it. Now, if you can manipulate the slide stop, do it. I know a lot of people like to teach all the other stuff, the fine motor skills go out. I believe it's like anything else. If you don't try it, don't use it, don't learn how to do it, yeah, you might have problems with it, but if you practice with it enough, I think you can engage it. If not, you still can rack it off a piece of gear. So, I'll go ahead and rack it off a piece of gear for the people who want to do it like that. Use the ejection port, and I'm back up into the fight, okay? That's a one way. And again, you can still do the slide release if you wish. So, weapon on the ground, set it back up. You might have trouble seeing a little bit, but take the weapon. I've set it on the ground, I've pinned it with my foot. Now, what's another reason to pin it with my foot? Well, I had it at classes, guys won't pin it with their foot. They'll just try to insert it, and then they chase the weapon across the deck, okay, because they're worried about scratching up. Well, you can see, I probably just scratched it up more than needed to be if they instead of me just pinning it. So, again, step on the weapon with your foot, pin it, insert the mag, send the slide stop forward, and you're ready to go. So that's just a quick little video. Again, there are multiple ways to do a weapons reload. One-handed, you know, everybody's got their own way, everything they were taught. Again, I was taught in the Marine Corps, you know, take it between your knees, insert the mag, get back in the fight. The only problem with that really, like everything else, you know, you're not looking. So while my knees are pinned like this and my head's looking down, so I can outflank you, you can be hit, you can't see what's going on. The other method with the weapon on the deck, your foot pinned on it, you're able to control it, you can still look around and keep an eye on what's happening. All right? So give it a try, see if you like it, and, and let me know what you think. Again, I'm Bob from Habit Shooting Solutions, and I hope to see you soon.